Hi guys, so today is February 27th and I'm at mile 5,904. And I'm here with my next set of challenge takers. We have Carol, Gary, his service dog Petey, and Chad. And I uh, want to say thank you guys so much for coming out. So Gary, I want to ask you, what made you say yes to coming out and taking on my challenge? I wanted to help you out, but uh, it gets me out of the house. I don't get out all that much, you know, just go to dialysis or whatever. So it's a cool trip. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you, Carol and Chad, for uh, making this happen. Well, on that note, guys, let's get this walk started. Are we gonna actually walk a mile? Yes, actually okay. it'll be about two miles. Okay, that's awesome, thanks guys. And uh, we'll be taking some little bridges onto some tiny little islands. Mm -hmm. And there's a totem halfway through. Cool. So right now we got Chad's going off to go get some candy. Yeah, Gary's got some low blood sugar going on. It's on the way to low blood sugar. It may, well, after this walk, I may be feeling it. So we're going to go get some food, so. Yeah. Yep, yep. We're all looking forward to it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey, Chad's back with the sugar. Thank you, Carol. I would have had him falling. We'd be in the lake by now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like an obstacle course. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I actually thought this was going to be a bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> the totem pole will be off that way. Over here? Yep, through that trail. Well, we're almost near the end. Yeah. So what did you think of the walk? It was cool. Muddy, but really cool. Yeah, them, uh, them bridges. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were treacherous. The Bridgers was, that was a challenge for uh, myself as well as Gary. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I would have led him into the water. I nearly decapitated him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lucky he made it out alive, poor guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you used up your one chance. I know. <sighs> So we're gonna go get something to eat and then uh then we're gonna do our smoke sessions. Stay tuned guys. So here we are, we're back, we're back at Gary's. I wanted to say thank you so much for coming out and taking on my challenge. Um we did two miles today. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So what did you think of the walk? I enjoyed it. It was kind of treacherous there at the dock walk gangplank kind of thing, but for the most part, it was okay. We were worried that we might end up kind of walking you off into the water, so I'm so glad that we did. No, no water walking, but I did get um, ran into a branch. But, uh, Is that what you guys would say? Ooh. Oh, good going. Are you okay? We weren't paying attention. We're talking about the dock here, right? Everybody gets their one time, so. <laughs> Yeah, so Carol, Carol got her one time. <laughs> or when's the last time that you've been on that long of a walk? I don't think I've ever been on that long of a walk. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I wouldn't say homebound, but I, I don't go off that much. As I said before, I really enjoy any chance I get, but it's few and far in between. You, um, not having your sight, you kind of have to rely on others well, yeah. a little bit more just to help you navigate the world around you. Yeah. This allows me to see a little bit more about, you know, how I can be helpful to friends of mine who might be battling um, visual impairment or some other um, hurdle that makes it a little bit hard to navigate. It made me realize, you know, I kind of need to reach out to my friends and my family and my loved ones who are, uh, who have it a little bit rougher than I do and see if I can help them get up and get out. Because um, it was a great walk for me. I mean, it was really so beautiful. What is it that you use cannabis for? Gastroparesis, neuropathy, glaucoma, and uh, appetite stimulation. What is gastroparesis? My body doesn't digest food um, at a normal pace. Uh, if I eat late at night, then my body won't process the food until the morning. And then in the morning, I'll, I'll get nauseous and then I can't eat. So I need to s smoke the weed to stop the nausea and stimulate my appetite. Wow. So it's like a, a one-two punch. Yeah. What is glaucoma? It's a uh, pressure in the eyeballs. Okay. And, uh, and cannabis helps with that? Yeah, it helps with the pain, helps, um, helps with the pressure. 2000 one they started um warning me that i'd be having problems with my eyesight uh i was completely blind within five years of that so in other words at least when we went and were describing to you what it is that we were saying out there you at least can imagine it in your mind i've seen enough to know what everybody's describing how long have you been using cannabis uh, medically just after my heart surgery in 2003, I was probably taking like about 20 to 23 pills a day, just causing a, a wreck on my appetite. I couldn't eat anything, and the only way I could get any sort of appetite was with cannabis. Are there any strains that you find extremely helpful? Blue Dream, OG Kush, uh, XJ13 is a good one. Thing with Jack Herrer in it. Yeah, those are all good appetite stimulation. Yes, yes. Well, on that note, um, I know I gotta, we gotta get back to, uh, gotta get back to Carol and Chad's, and uh, I have to do a smoke sesh with them, and then uh, I'll be making my way on. We're back here with Carol and Chad. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for taking me out to snag up Gary and and helping me get this uh, this episode filmed. <laughs> I don't think I could have even just plain and simply guided Gary 
I mean, if I, I, I was thinking I'd maybe have you hold the camera, but I quickly realized that if uh, I did that, poor Gary would have ended up in the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't the easiest boardwalk um, to walk on. Uh, you know, of course, we didn't know, none of us knew that it was floating, you know, which does make a difference when you're walking on a gangplank that's individually floating units that you have to transition someone across. You know? Right. And, and then you have to verbally explain to him what's coming up, when he's going to need to lift his foot because he almost fell down a couple times, you know, because, uh, you know, you get tongue tied and you're like, oh, 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 oh step yeah. up, <laughs> you know, and it's a little late at that point. Have right. a good conversation. Yeah. Cool. So you really got to stay focused. Or duck. Or duck. Yeah. Yeah. Petey didn't like the, the gangplank or the water or, or the grating. He didn't like the thing with the holes in it at all. Yeah, so I was he, thinking it was just yeah. going to be bridges or yeah. like a bridge across to the island and like another footbridge. I had no idea it was going to be all moving and wobbling. Yeah. If it had just been me and him, we definitely would have had to turn around and, and find yeah, another. Yeah, you would have had to skip that for sure. It would have been a little much. I'll have to make sure I'm doing a bit more research on where we're walking. Maybe Google Earth, you know, and you can get like you a know, there were There were some spots where there were no railings. That, that made me nervous. Me. Yeah. And I know how to swim. You know, yeah. but how are you going to save a dog that's freaking out, a blind guy that has no idea what's just happened, you right. know, and yourself. <laughs> just, yeah. But other than the difficulty on the walk, what did you guys think of the walk? Um, just, yeah. I've lived here all my life and I didn't even know that that was there. Right. I had never been. I mean, I knew that the area was there. Okay. Uh, but I had never been there physically. And it's quite a park, actually. Yeah, it just was tucked uh, in underneath the freeway. Honestly. It was pretty cool, yeah. just if, uh, if we'd been a little bit more, at least mentally prepared. Mentally prepared, yes. Yeah, again, thank you guys so much for uh, for being my transportation angels. <laughs> we like having you. <laughs> yes, yes. It's our side adventure from our life to have you come visit. Breaks up our monotony a little bit. And we're always going to do something Not too. Always, because there's yeah. stuff to do and. Mother Nature is doesn't cost anything, but, you know, maybe a little bit of gas money. Right, right. Bring a little bit of cannabis and... Yeah. Bring people that need to get out. Sometimes yes. people just need a, a, a buddy, you know? Yeah. Road people have road anxiety, trip. medical problems, health problems, physical problems. Gary was mentioning, you know, he doesn't really get out a whole lot. Um, you know, having the hurdle of not really being able to see... Yeah. Um, that can make it really difficult on just getting up and going. Right. So it does, it can be difficult to get in on a, you know, a good camping trip or things, you know, yeah, whatever it may about. be. Mm -hmm. um, it was cool taking him camping. Yeah. Yeah. You guys took him camping. Um, yeah, it was, it was he, a is, hoot. he is really low maintenance for a visually impaired person. Yeah. So independent, you know, you tell him yeah. your tents at 11 o'clock. You know, the, the porta potties at six, the fires in the middle, you know, our tent is at three o'clock, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And, and he just kind of went for it. Right you know, on. He was he... able to get himself to the dinner table and to the restroom by himself. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. You can oh, yeah. tell he tries to like visualize his surroundings, you know, yeah. um, but he picks it up pretty well. And really like well. Remembers like slopes in the, in the ground and shit where like maybe big rocks are. Because he's dealt with, you know, his hurdle, he knows exactly, well, he knows exactly what kind of help to ask for. He knows how to ask for help. He knows how to say, hey, you know, this is what I need. Um, not everybody has that. Not everybody has that. So sometimes, you know, going and asking your friends who are, who have hurdles, you know, is there, would you like to go hang out today? Would you like to go out for a walk today? Um, ask them, you know, how can we make that happen? You know, that's one thing I've, need? that's one thing I've been doing is I've been at inviting people to come out and walk with me. I've been challenging people to come out and walk a mile with me. And I've had some people say, I want to come, but I can't because of this or because of that. And I'm like, well, how can we, how can we make that reason disappear? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and what do so, we do to get rid of that? You know, okay. So you can't quite walk too well. What if we uh, bring a wheelchair along just just in case? Or, you know, what if I, I bring um, a walking stick or uh, a cane to walk with or maybe even a, a crutch? 
you know. Again, thank you guys so much for helping me get this episode accomplished and uh, coming out and being my transportation angel, um, providing me with a safe place to lay my head in between these episodes and yeah, everything that you guys have done. Um, and uh, it's about time I got to make my way on. So on that note, as always, guys, it's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Come walk a mile with Seth. He'll show you some magic. Yes, I challenge you to come out and walk one mile with me. I'll show you magic. Much love and much peace, you all. Walk a mile with Seth. He'll show you magic. All right, guys. Much love and much peace, you all.